So without rail driver, I like to use my uh, flight stick throttle to control all of the things I need for train sim world. And uh, I'll go through just how I do that. Well, this is my rail driver, which I use with the uh, train simulator. Train simulator 2017. It took a little work to get it to function with train simulator 2017. It was originally built for the older ones. Now, my joystick here was something I was using prior to rail driver. Um, but... Uh, I wanted to see if I can get the joystick not only to work with Train Simulator but also to work with Train Sim World. Looking at my joystick, uh, the Thrustmaster for flight control, I decided just to use the throttle section. And that had worked for Train Simulator, and I believe now to give it a try. To use it on train sim world and sure enough it works just beautifully and so i don't use the first joystick the flying stick but i use the throttle so instead of going straight into train sim world i will bring up i will bring up pinnacle game profiler And I created a profile for the flight stick OTAS X. For, for my particular joystick that I use, I, I use this flight stick. I created and configured a profile for it, and then I can just say play and let it bring up Train Sim World within that. So now I got Train Sim World up. I can use my stick to change. Let me pull that further. I use this button to bring me into the map view. And you can make the arrangements for any of the buttons you want. I still use my mouse for looking around. But, uh, I use this top button here for applying the brakes and the one right below it to release the brakes. I use the button, this last button here is my button for standing up, taking actions. mouse for moving around and once again this button here for sitting back down again so I thought what I would do by using the throttle I would use let me get the throttle in view I would use this as my throttle but after setting it up that way I didn't really like the way it felt um, and then I decided to change the throttle to the front triggers this rocker to be my throttle so as you can see here and that's how I do my throttle now to put it in forward and reverse I use this button here for forward, this button here to pull it back and put it in reverse. Brake release. Couple on the throttle. And then I still use my mouse to release the train brake, uh, the, uh, yes, the independent brake. But I just use the joystick controller for the other functions.
and we're on our way. Now for the horn, that's also here. This top button here is the horn. And then this one here is turning the bell on and off. Bell, horn. So more about the Pinnacle software. It's not a free program uh, or a free game profiler. Uh, there may be some out there. I don't know, but this one's only a few dollars. What I do is I just go into uh, create a new profile and then make my own configuration. And it takes a little effort and learning curve to learn it, but it, it's not that hard. And you can go ahead and set up your joystick or any other game uh, controller that you might have and start uh, uh, setting the buttons to your desired uh, functions. So once I got my configuration, uh, I'm ready to go and now the nice thing about Pinnacle though is you can export your configuration and share them with others so I do have an exported configuration for the Thrustmaster flight stick if anybody wants that I could uh, probably post that uh, and I should probably post it on the Pinnacle website for people for that have trained SimWorld that want the configuration that they can use it and just download it and not have to worry about figuring that out. And here I'm using the joystick uh, to run the program Train SimWorld and it works beautifully. Now the nice thing about this is that uh, if you, the rail driver is not functioning in Train Sim World, hopefully in the future it will because I have one, but uh, if you don't have a, a rail driver, they are very expensive. Uh, and if you uh, want to be able to control your train in Train Sim World, or even in Train Simulator 2017, uh, you can do so with the game profiler and a joystick and it's a lot cheaper and economical than using uh, real driver as nice as real driver is but um, it really is a pleasure not having to be driving a train by keyboard and looking and poking at and searching out letters and keys but rather just with the tactile functions of your your fingers uh, uh, you, you know with just uh, being able to place your hand on the joystick and be able to trigger all of the main controls of the train the th throttle the reverser the brakes the horn the bell all those functions uh, really at your fingertips and it just it feels right feels good after using it I couldn't believe how nice uh, uh, nice and easy it was to set up but also how nice it felt to actually drive the train and how natural it felt to drive the, the train with the joystick so hopefully this was helpful and uh, if you have any comments or questions just post below